Good day, grade 8 students. So this time, I will teach on how to simplify rational algebraic expressions. So simplifying rational algebraic expressions simply means expressing the expression into its lowest term or simplest form. And that is when the numerator and denominator have no common factors other than 1. Okay, we'll have the following. Simplify the following rational algebraic expressions. So we'll have the first one, given monomial. So we have 8x cubed over 14x. So the first thing that we should do here is identify the GCF of the numbers. So we have 8 and 14. So the GCF of that is 2. And after that, divide 8 and 14 by the GCF. So we have... 8 divided by 2 is 4 over 14 divided by 2 is 7 and for the variables you should subtract the exponents we have 3 minus 1 so we have 2 so we have x squared here so the final answer here is 4x squared over 7 okay next we have the second one 10 a cube b to the power of 4 over 24 a b squared so the same procedure step identify the gcf of 10 and 24 so that is 2 and then divide 10 and 24 by the gcf so you have 10 divided by 2 is 5 over 12 by uh, 24 divided by 2 is 12 and then for the variables we have a cube divided by a so subtract the exponents we have 3 minus 1 is 2 so you have a squared then b to the power of 4 divided by b squared so you have 4 minus 2 is 2 so you have still b squared so the final answer here is 5a squared b squared over 12 okay next we have the given binomials okay for the binomials so you have 5x plus 30 over 2x plus 12 okay the first thing that we should do is factor out the numerator and denominators so here apply the common monomial factoring find the gcf of 5 and 30 so that is 5 and after that divide the given by the gcf so you have 5x divided by 5 so that is x then 30 divided by 5 is positive 6 over you have for 2x plus 12 the gcf of 2 and 12 is 2 and divide 2x by 2 so that is x then 12 divided by 2 so that is positive 6 and after that cancel out the common factors between the numerator and denominator so what is the common factor so that is x plus 6 and then the remaining will be your answer so we have 5 over 2 or 5 halves so that would be your final answer okay we'll have the another one 2x plus 10 over x squared plus 5x apply also common monomial factoring so what is the gcf of 2 and 10 so that is 2 then 2x divided by 2 so that is x 10 divided by 2 is positive 5 over for x squared and 5x what is the gcf so that is x then x squared divided by x is x then 5x divided by x is 5 and after that cancel out the common factors so we have x plus 5 and x plus 5 and the remaining will be your answer so we have 2 over x as your final answer so that's for binomial next we'll have the trinomials 
So first we have x squared plus 8x plus 15 over x squared plus 7x plus 12. Okay, this is the same step. Factor out the trinomials. So what are the factors of 15 that would have sum of 8? So we have positive 5 and positive 3. And then for x squared plus 7x plus 12, so what are the factors of 12 that could have sum of 7? So we have positive 4 and then positive 3. Then after that, cancel out the common factors. You have x plus 3. So the remaining would be your answer, x plus 5 over x plus 4. So that would be your final answer. Next, we'll have the last example. So you have a squared plus 8a minus 20. So find the factors of 20, negative 20, that have a sum of 8. So that is positive 10 and negative 2. Over factors of negative 18 that have sum of 7. So you have positive 9 and negative 2. After that, cancel out the common factors. You have to cancel out a minus 2. So the remaining is or a plus 10 over a plus 9. So that would be your final answer. So that's all for simplifying rational algebraic expressions with a given monomial, binomial, and trinomials. Thank you and God bless.